Welcome back guys this is Sharat in this tutorial we will learn how to implement this simple recycler view in android studio so what is a recycler view a recycler view widget is a more advanced and flexible version of list view so we have already implemented a list view you can check out in the previous tutorials so it is a more advanced and flexible version of that list view so we will divide this tutorial into two videos in the first video i will create the model class and design the layout manager and in the next tutorial we will create an adapter class and finally we will run it so we will create the new project go to new new project and name it as recycler view tutorial and click on next 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 and finish so before getting started we need to add this two dependencies and another one which is the design dependencies into our android studio so i will show you how to do it now go to file click on the project structure go to app and now go to dependencies now add the library dependency so first one is this design and the next one is this recycler view you, you can find it here and finally we should add and then click on ok by using the card view we will make this simple recycler view we have successfully added these three dependencies we will go to activity main which is the layout resource file go to text now when we will remove this and add recycler view so we should choose the android.support.v7 widget because we have added the dependencies of this so uh, layout width will be match parent and height will be wrap content it's similar to the list view but it is more advanced and flexible now we will add the layout design so which we saw here we will design this layout layout manager now go to layout right click on it go to new and add a new resource file and name it as layout design here we will design this card view first we will remove this constant layout and change it to linear layout and set orientation to vertical now we will add the card view and width will be match parent and height will be wrap content So now we will add one image view width will be 50 dp and height will be 50 dp you can change it later and source will be I will choose at me map IC launcher round now and uh, before inserting image view you should insert a relative layout match parent wrap content okay now we will add the text view wrap content wrap content and this is for app name we'll give an id for image view app logo we'll give an id for this app name and we will place it to the end of image view so that is app logo and we will change the text color to black and change the text style to bold and text size to 20 sp and we'll give the margin start to 10 dp and margin end to 10 dp now we'll copy this just to save the time and paste it and i will change this id from app name to app dev app developer I will remove this textile and text size and I will place place it below app name ok now we will give the padding to 4dp padding 4dp padding 5dp have created this layout manager now we'll create the model class 
in this video and in the next video we will create the adapter class so we will create a model class and name it as list items so which contains this all this list items you can see here so one is this image view the other two are the text views so go to list items for text views we should use string so string app name and another one public string app developer for image views we should use a data type int public int app logo we will insert the getters for this for this items so press alt plus insert and select getter and we want getters for all this so select all and click on ok now we will create the data class which holds all this uh, image names app names and developer names we will create the data class and i will end this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will do the adapter class so we'll create the another class and name it as data because it contains all the data that we want in our list so we'll create a static array list public static array list we'll pass a generic class which we already created that is list items so this list items is nothing but is this java class and we will call this method as give data so it contains all the data and it should give the data when we use it so we will create an array list and pass this list items again and we will name it as list items we will assign new array list string app name array will pass the names of an application now we will add the developer names string app developers now we need images so to add images i have already selected this selected this so copy all this and put it into drawable folder now int app logos so we have added all the data that we want in our recycler view now we will use the for loop so it should be exactly the length of this data so you can choose any one from here i will choose the app name i is lesser than app name dot length and it should increment now we will create a method of the java class we already created which is list items list items one dot app name equals app names of i so as this an array it will choose the positions of this so at first it will be gmail and then facebook and then inbox and so on similarly list items one dot app developer equals app dev developer of i next list items one dot app logo equals app logo of i then list items dot add list items one this list items are added into that list items class and you have to just return list items that we created at the beginning and that's it for this video we will create an adapt adapter class in the next video and run it